Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome to a brand new map in Spin Tires Mud Runner that is unlike any map I have ever seen or played before. Now this map is very much a custom object paradise pretty much. There's custom objects everywhere if that's what you are into and if you like custom objects you're going to be right at home exploring this map. Now, as you can see right here, right off the bat, we have um, some custom buildings on the side. We have some custom buildings on this side as well, kind of like apartment block style buildings around here. Some with balconies, some without. And if we drive this way, we actually have a garage right over here, not directly to my left, uh, but the next building uh, over there. You can actually see it's popping up on the screen right now. And that particular garage is actually locked from the start so you do have to go out and find a garage trailer i've already explored this map a little bit and i can tell you that you do have to go out and find a garage trailer and you'll think at first that the garage trailer is like you'll be like where you know you'll be like where is it where is it where is it and then you'll eventually find where it is and you'll be like oh that's kind of obvious but the thing is it's it's once you find it it becomes obvious but like it, it becomes obvious that that's where it would be but until then until then, it, you you have no freaking clue where it is. So uh, it's actually kind of a, it's kind of a fun dynamic because you have to go and find it. But honestly, it's kind of it's kind of like okay with me that they. Uh, this is one of the few times where it's completely okay with me that there's a locked garage right off the bat because this map actually really just promotes exploration to the absolute fullest because it's so 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 uh, like. It's frankly a very pretty map. It, it's 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 got so many custom objects, so many new things that you haven't seen before that I guarantee you won't have seen before. And you, it really gives you all these incentives to go out and search around and look around and see what's what out there in this in-game world. And like I gotta be honest, guys, like this is probably the most custom objects I've seen on on a Mud Runner map either in a long time or possibly ever, possibly ever. Um, you come to the top of this hill, and there's actually, like, a gravestone up here, and it's, like, it's kind of, oh, God, didn't mean to knock those fences over, but it kind of catches you off guard, because you're, like, that's not a normal thing to see in spin tires, and it kind of adds to this atmosphere of the map, which the atmosphere is a little, um, oh, by the way, yeah, these massive, like, these mount massive mountains and stuff like that, dude, oh, my God, you guys are gonna freak out when you figure out, when you find out later in the video what those are for because oh my god it's so it, it's it's just one of those things that like dude you you see it and you don't believe it for a second and then you're like holy crap this is real this is actually real this is actually in the map and i'm freaking out right now so this area is kind of a kind of a shipping area a shipping depot uh, a lot of these trailers are inactive and you kind of you're like, oh, okay, cool, a bunch of prop trailers, whatever, until you find this guy. This guy, and then you drive up to it, and it engages, and you realize that it is active, and that's what you would use to unlock the garage, but this doesn't have any kind of hitch or anything like that, so I'm not going to be concerned about that, and plus, we're we're exploring. We're not, you know, we're not doing, doing this in an objective-based fashion. We're just exploring the map. Now, there are still areas of this map that I have not explored yet, like, for example going straight right here like I I've turned right right there but I haven't gone straight up here so I'm assuming it's just another uh, little little area like with custom objects and stuff like that but, oh we got a lumber mill okay so this is one of the other lumber mills uh, which makes sense because it's I mean it looks like it it looks like a lumber mill it really does but the only thing that I'm not a fan of with this one oh buddy oh boy here's another one of these things and it's actually in an even more convenient place to show you but this map has a bunch of tunnels, and it's almost, it's not really a tunnel network, but there are a bunch of tunnels that go way underground and actually go through those big mountains, and some of them have things hidden inside of them, some of them don't, but regardless of whether they have things hidden inside of them or not, I still think they're one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time because of the fact that it's a different gameplay dynamic, it's a different map, de map design dynamic for Mudrunner because you don't see those at all, ever. And the only thing, the only problem with them is you do have to go into first person to make the camera not freak out, but, because, like, if you try to do it in third person, basically what'll happen is the camera will hover above the mountain, and you won't be able to see what you're doing, you won't be able to see the truck, you won't be able to see inside the tunnel, but 
it's kind of a, it's it's kind of a neg mildly neg negligible thing. It like it depends whether or not that's a negligible detail depends on how much you like or dislike first person view. And that just comes down to personal preference thing. Now there are a couple issues like right here there is some clipping into the ramp on that bridge. There's also some clipping into the bridge itself. That is going to happen on some of these maps. It's it's one of those things that you have to accept sometimes with custom objects or at least custom object heavy maps because custom object heavy maps tend to be a little buggy this one's actually definitely on the better side of custom object heavy maps uh, especially like considering the fact it's not it's not that buggy but you can see how the camera will uh, go top side of the uh, oh god the camera will go up top and and kind of freak out and start to flip out if you drive into the into the tunnel with your uh, with your camera in third person view still so again switching to first person view it's it's definitely not the end of the world and I it's totally worth it to actually you know kind of see what in these you know in these kind of mountainous uh, environments and, and and tunnels that that you have on this map now I have never been left right here and I like I've never turned left right here and it's a very it, it's like it just goes way uphill like you can see it it, it, it definitely turns into quite a climb but I really want to see what's up here because I think that there may be something interesting. I'm not sure. We'll have to find out. But, God, I do really... Actually, I do like this vehicle as well. It's kind of a bit of a rat truck. Um, and it's it doesn't really have any... It doesn't have any headlights. You you can... you Like, you try to switch them on and off and nothing happens. But the... Uh, I'm going to go left. Because I feel like if I go left, there's more of a chance of... I, and, and not as of, like, a preference of a right or left. It's just, like, I feel like... This looks... Oh, God, this gets real steep. Yeah, this definitely looks like there could be something cool out here. Just trying to keep my momentum up in high. But this thing doesn't really have any grip problems. I mean, it's 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 a tank. It, it just goes. It, it's it's kind of ratty. It's kind of, you know, it kind of looks like it just, you know, put itself together from a few different parts and then rolled out of the junk pile. But you know what? That's kind of one of those things that I love about some of these vehicles. Like, they, they look like they just rolled out of the junk pile, but at the same time, they're, like, freaking tough, dude. They are so freaking tough. And, like, well, some of them are. Some of them fall apart. But, like, some of them are freaking, like, crazy tough and just absolutely want to just go. What is this? Is that a fire truck? Yo! It's either a fire truck or a military truck. One of the two. I love how some of these houses, like, all these houses are custom, but some of them are uh, unfinished, like this one right here. It's like, you, 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 you get a very interesting vibe from this map. It's something that, it's something that you don't get from really any other map that I've ever come across, honestly. Because all, almost all of the objects, minus things like fuel stations and stuff like that, are fully custom. And, and they, they really do give off that custom map vibe. Like, some of the maps just feel like... They rearranged parts of the original game and, and kind of made their own map, which there's nothing wrong with that if you make a really technically challenging map, but maps that are super aesthetically pleasing like this one are definitely a breath of fresh air among a lot of the other maps that get released on the regular. So this map, oh my god, it's it's just so interesting and so cool. And I know there's going to be guys in the, in, the, uh, in the comments that are going to be like, why is there no link in the description? Why is there no link in the description? Basically, the reason why there's no link in the description is because... I did not feel confident putting a link to this map, or at least to where I got this map in the description, because it was a little sketchy, and if you didn't know kind of your way around it, there's a there's a chance that, you know, you may run into something sketchy, but honestly, if I find a, you know, a link that I'm like, oh yeah, that's perfectly safe um, for this map, then I will put it in the comments below. Um, I haven't found one yet, but, I w but if I find one, you guys will be the first to know. I'll let you all know in the comments, and I'll put... I'll put a link in the description below just so you guys know exactly where you can go to get this map and 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 actually, you know, be confident downloading it that it that, that everything is safe. It's like it's the 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 map itself and the map files itself are completely safe. The only thing is like the the website where I got it from I would consider it a little bit of a sketchy place, but that's just me. Let's see. Where are we even at? Oh, oh, wow. So we actually explored way more of the map than I thought we did. And we've actually got a, another lumber mill down here. Fun fact, there's actually, if you look on the left, there are five lumber mills on this map. Which is quite a bit. It's, it's a lot. It's actually, like, it's a lot of lumber mills, honestly. Like, I, I, I need to find a bridge 
to the other side of the river because I want to get over to the other side and get that last watch point because it's freaking bugging me, dude. Oh, no, there's no bridge down there. Damn. There's a bridge right there, but it's out. It's, it's very out. God, I remember back in the original spin tires, there was a mod for, like, a bridge builder vehicle, and, uh, and I don't know if you guys know of, of the... Like, most of you guys probably know about the military vehicles that basically they're, um, they're mechanical bridge builders, and they unfold a bridge off of the back of a truck. I freaking wish I had one of those right now. Oh my god. Yeah, see, that would be exactly what we need if it was finished. God, why must they... What? What? Why must they taunt us like that? It's like, boy, the heck. Got a B-66 over here. That's in a weird place. How the hell is it supposed to get... I'm gonna switch to it just because I'm curious. Yo, how the hell is it supposed to get to the other side? Like, seriously. There's nothing for it to do here. I mean, like, we don't need this truck, so I'm just gonna... Oh, yeah, look. It just gets stuck. There's nowhere for it to winch to. It basically spears itself. It's like... It, it doesn't know... It doesn't know what to do. Yeah, it doesn't know what to do. It gets caught. It... I... Oh, that's... Oh my god, look at the depth. Oh, that is terrible. That is freaking terrible. Um, let me grab the... Oh, you know what? Let me grab the Mantis. And I would grab the Scout, except for the fact that the Scout has no body panels. I hid the Scout in the bushes, because the Scout has no body panels. And yeah, it's it's it kind of looks a little rough right now. And if I use the Scout, I need to have a garage so I can put some body panels on it. And uh, yeah, that's... That's just how that works. Says the long and short of it right there. Alright, so let me go ahead and make a quick right over here. And let's see. We got another... Oh, you know what? I bet you. I bet you the other watch point is in there uh, in a tunnel. I, I, I almost I almost 100% guarantee it, actually. I if we can get through here or if this is solid. Oh, that's solid. Okay, yep. Don't try that again. Although, there is a very easy way around that, especially now that we've got this crawler. Though the Mantis is still one of the, my favorite crawlers that's been that's been released in Mudder. It was one of the really early ones, uh, but I still like it a lot. I, I really do enjoy using it. Really fun rig. No, not that tree. That tree, please. <laughs> come on! Come on, 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 come on. There you go. And we can go ahead and release it. We got another fuel station over here, too. That's nice. We'll go ahead and get through here. Oh, you suck. Freaking wall. Well, I'll tell you what, actually. Since we're on the other side of that fence, we can just go through the trees here. We can just go through the trees here and then go through the gate. Then we should be able to easily get ourselves over to find that last watch point. And we can go ahead and get it unlocked. We can call this place fully explored. Like, fully, fully explored. Let me take a look. Okay, so it would be over there towards the right, which is exactly where that... Yeah, it's exactly where that mountain is. That it's That's almost a dead giveaway. Oh, hey, what do you know? We're on the... There's the, there's the other truck. There's that rat truck. That's perfect. Easy way to get to the other side. Swap to your different vehicle. There's a little tractor right there, too. Like, oh, everything is so... There's a well... Oh god, we got two of them. Uh, I think it's probably in this one. Check the map again. Yeah, it's in that one. I kind of want to go check out the other one too, but it looks like it's over here. This one isn't really even a tunnel. This is just like a V. But again, I don't know. I've never been to this side of the map. I like the fact that this thing has no windshield, so it doesn't really obstruct your view of basically anything. Um, it's, it's Oh god, we're getting a lot of damage going through there. Okay. They put a lot of rocks in there, so you cannot go through there fast. Alright, where's my watch point? Yo, where... Really? 
It's in the other one. That... Wow. It's in the other one. So, if we go around this side... If we go around this side... We may be able to find our way... Whoa, actually... I don't know if this will work or not. But there's another road up here. I mean, it, it doesn't follow the theme of where these have been previously. But I'm all for trying out a new route... To see if there is a possibility of it being up here. Doesn't look like it is, though. Yeah, definitely doesn't look like it is. But we got one more option that we can try. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the... I'm pretty sure it's going to be the one. Because this map does seem to follow a theme. Oh, dude, this one's got, like, supplies and everything in it. Oh, my God. That was weird. We just hit... Yo! This is an underground base! Holy crap! This is a... This is an entire, like, underground base. This is insane. Uh-oh. The thing... The, the vehicle's having some issues. Uh, getting... Oh, God. Something's not rendered properly here. Or at least the collisions are not rendered properly. God, I wish I could go into third person. Oh, my God. I wish I could go into third person, but it doesn't work. Oh, but still, look at this. This is so cool. This is so freaking cool. And by the way, that is the full map discovered, which the crazy thing about this, all of these mountains, you can go inside. That is so crazy to me. And this is, that make, that sets this apart from any other Mudrunner map that like really th we've ever had. So if you guys enjoyed this tour and this little quick review of this map, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.